Hi everyone, it's Jess with Kinder Stample and today I want to show you a quick tip. Um, I have a bunch of Tim Holtz Distress inks and sometimes I find it hard for me to match up the colors um, with my projects because I don't have them easily accessible and I can't really see all of the details of the ink. So what I've decided to do is put together a little swatch um, book for each of the different colors that I have and this particular one happens to be Distress um, ink in vintage photo. You guys know that I love that. So what I've gone ahead is I put together this little swatch book and it's made up of a couple of different techniques and I'll go ahead and show you how I made it and then stay tuned for another video so I can show you exactly um, how I store them. So let me put this over to the side and show you what you're going to need. For this particular project you're going to need um, three of these little manila um, hang tags you can make your own hang tag if you wish. I just find it easier to use these because they're already pre-made. Um, I'm going to use a fourth one to cut out one of the little tags. I'm going to use my McGill's Vintage Label Punch to cut out this little vintage um, label right here. I'm also going to go ahead and use the Kinder Stample. And this is the Grungy Inspiration Stamp Set. So we're just going to use one saying for this, and that's to show how the stamped um, image looks. The next thing we're going to use is um, whatever color you're working with. And for this particular one, I'm going to use Distress Ink and Vintage Photo again, so I'll make another one. We'll need a little Mini Mister, and um, Ranger also makes these. So this one is the one by Ranger, the Mini Mister. We will also need a piece of seam binding. So I'll just go ahead and cut a piece of seam binding right here. I'm going to use white because that will give me the best effect. And that's all we'll need. So let's put this over to the side and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff to, out of the way. And I'm going to put the main um, tag in the middle. And all I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to do... I'm going to saturate this tag. And I'm basically just coloring on it with the with the stamp pad and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see exactly how the color shows if I were just to go um, and ink it directly so this is what it'll look like and I tend to do this a lot of my projects so I find it really valuable to be able to have this on the side so I can match it up with my projects so that's all you do for that. And then one thing I forgot to mention was you're going to need a heat tool just to heat set everything. So let's go ahead and heat set this. And you'll notice that um, the temple distress things tend to react with both heat and water. So it's really good to have um, one of these swatch books available because a lot of times, although you're just looking at the ink pad and you assume that this is the color that it's going to look like, um, you'll notice that once you dry it or you wet it, um, it'll look a little bit different. So that's something that I like to keep in mind. So there goes that one. So now we'll move this over to the side. And you notice that it curls a little bit depending on how you heat it. Um, you might be able to just straighten that out really quickly. So let's move that one over. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and ink my pad. And again, I'm using a craft mat here. So I'm just laying a little bit of color on the pad like that and then I'm going to use my mini mister to just spray lightly on here and you'll notice that the distress ink takes on a different effect and a different color when you spray water on it and all I'm doing is I'm pressing the tag onto here like this and saturating my tag and you'll see that the color that it's taking on once the water it's a very diluted brown and I love that um, and I like using that a lot on my projects so it's um, I find this tag really really valuable as well so we'll just do it like that and I just always pick up a lot because I tend to be that crafter that I use everything that's on my mat so now we have something that looks like this and then I'll just take a little wipe and I'll clean this up we'll put it back down like that in the middle and we'll grab our heat tool and dry it again and this is just going to heat set it and you'll see that again with the heat um, the color will lighten up so you saw how the tag was curled and now it's uncurling 
And you'll also notice that the color is also getting much lighter. So there we go. There goes the second tag and the second technique that I want to be able to um, include in my swatch book. The third one I'm going to do is a wrinkled um, tag. And all you do is you literally take the tag and you just wrinkle it. I take it in my hand and I crush it up like this. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just really quick like that. And then you're going to go ahead and put it on your mat again. And you're going to take your um, Distress ink in whatever color you're using, Vintage Photo in this case, and you're just going to rub it on the tag. So you're going to see that um, because you wrinkled it up, the Distress ink is going to pick up only the, mark the areas that are lifted and are wrinkled, and it gives you a really, really awesome effect. And then the next thing I do is I take, again, my um, Ranger Mini Mister, and I spray it. So you'll see how um, the ink will react once it's sprayed. This also helps that when I heat it, it actually sets um, it a little easier. So I'm, again, I'm just going to clean my mat with a little wipe. And now I'll grab my heat tool and dry this up. So I'm just going to dry this up really quickly. Make sure that I set all of those colors in there. Just really quick and easy to do. And what I love about this effect is that you get the richness of um, the saturation of the color, but you also get that translucent look because we've added the water on there. So now we're done with that. And if you want to use an iron for this, you can flatten that out even better. I like the texture of it, so I leave it like that. So now we have these three tags. The next thing I do is I take just another plain tag and I'm going to just go ahead and cut a punch with my vintage label. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab that little piece that we punched out. And because I tend to do a lot of inking on the edges, I want to have a little um, sample of what it looks like when I just ink. So I'm going to use um, this Tim Holtz Distress Tool with this little foam pad on here. See this one I use all the time for my vintage photo so it already has that color. All you're going to do is you're going to take your ink pad and you're going to dab into it. And now you're lightly just going to um, roll Pass, press your dabber on the edges of this and it's just inking up the edges so now I'll know just by looking at this little swatch how my project is going to look if I just ink the edges so we'll put this over to the side now and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a sentiment in this case I'm going to be using the um, the live sentiment and all I'm going to do is take this same little um, punch out die cut here and we're going to ink it, ink our stamp with the vintage photo and just press down like that. So now I see what it would look like if I were to stamp with this color. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my, my crop a dial. So here goes my crop a dial and now we're just basically putting all of this together. You'll need one of these little from it. I'm going to go ahead and take a piece and take a hole. So now we have a hole here. We'll take our little grommet and put it through. And now we'll just press and seal. So now that will be nicely secure on there. So now we have these three tags and this little um, punched out image. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of seam binding. And this is actually one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to go ahead and color this. So all I do is I put the seam binding on my mat. And I'm just going to rub the ink on there. Um, I don't know if you guys knew, but you can absolutely do this with your ink pad. So we're just rubbing it on here like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take, again, our mini mister. 
and we're going to wet this. And you see what's happening when you wet it? It's completely saturating the ribbon. So now you have a gorgeous, gorgeous ribbon colored in the same color as your distressing. I'll move this over to the side again and just wipe this area up. like this. I just like to keep it really nice and neat. And then the next thing I'll do is I'm just going to get um, a reverse tweezer and just kind of hold it down and dry it with my heat tool. Just make sure that it's nice and dry. Just dry it up really, really well. And this is actually going to heat set the dye into the ribbon, so you should be okay to use this on any of your projects. Okay, so now that is nice and dry. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab all of these pieces together and I'm kind of going from lighter to dar darkest on here. We'll take this little ribbon and just run it through e each of the holes in the tags. like this and then we'll just not do a double knot and there you go you have a really awesome um, swatch book that shows all of the different ways that you can use um, your Tim Holtz distress ink in vintage photo and um, I've gone ahead and I've done this with all of the colors that I have. So I have all of these really fun colors. Now I just need to go ahead and finish them off. So stay tuned. I'm going to be making a, another video to show you how I store these. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I look forward to sharing new ideas with you really soon. Thanks for watching.